Excellent. Excellent. I, <clears throat> my name is AJ Brown, and I am going to be doing one of my favorite presentations today. It's called Discovering the Exact Four Strategies for Making Serious Investment Income. But before I get started, I want to make sure you guys can interact with me. So I'd like you to turn your attention to your meeting device up in the upper right hand corner there. Um, this is the uh, webinar control panel, if you will. And to really make the most out of this, you'll notice that there is a vertical array of buttons off to the edge, the left edge of your meeting control panel. Uh, the top button is an orange button with a white arrow, but the bottom button is a hand raising button. So I'd like you to please press that button now. Let me see if you can raise your hands. Ah, there you go. That way I can know this is a way for you to interact with me because studies have shown that if you just listen and watch a lecture or presentation, you only get so much out of it. And I've got so much content to give you today. So I'd like you to also get yourself some pieces of paper and a pencil because I'm going to instill on you some uh, uh, knowledge bits that you can actually go take and do some trading with. So I'd like you to be able to have that ready to go. So if you're ready to go, please raise your virtual hand. Let me just see that you're there. Excellent. Excellent. That's fantastic. All right. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so happy that they had me here. By the way, the presentation that was right before mine, I uh, only caught the last half hour of it, but it was pretty fantastic. Um, in one of my other programs, we do similar trades, so I can uh, definitely give you a, a, a heads up if you're thinking about that program. Uh, consider uh, doing that program just because uh, um, there is some money to be had there. You have to be a little bit more active, but that is the there there is some money to be had there. Let's talk about making investment income though using options. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, before we get started, I always like to do this for on behalf of my company here. Information, charts, or examples contained in this presentation are for illustration educational purposes only. They should not be considered advice or an endorsement to purchase or sell any security or financial instrument. We don't and cannot give any financial advice. No employees or persons associated with us are registered or authorized to give financial advice, but we and we do not trade on anyone's behalf and we do not recommend or receive any payments from brokers. And that's so, so important that you uh, understand that. And that's because, well, let me, before I spend any time introducing myself, let me ask, how many of you with a show of hands actually have already been introduced to me? You know a little bit about me. You've, okay. There's quite a few on the phone, quite, quite a few of you on the webinar this morning. How many of you with a show of hands, you haven't uh, ever heard of me? All right, there's quite a few of you as well. All right, well, let me, I'm just gonna spend like maybe a couple minutes. I founded a company called Trading Trainer. And as Reed said, I am recognized as one of the world's most disciplined options trader. I often think that when they say that, they're talking about the most like, well, I sometimes joke around and say that, that I'm a lazy option trader. That's because I like to put my money into investments rather than you know day trading where I have to be in front of the computer day in, day and night at a particular time. I mean, most of us are working five, seven days a week. Some of us are even working 60, 70, one and a half, uh, times what the, um, you know, what a full-time equivalent of a, an employee is. I mean, so I like the type of things where you invest your money, almost like in a mutual fund, but this mutual fund contains options, right? And so I think they think I'm the most laziest trader. In fact, I, in fact, the better word I like to use instead of disciplined or, or lazy is efficient, right? I like to use my money as efficiently as possible. I like to use my time as efficiently as possible. I mean, the last thing I want to do, I gave up any sort of job that I had back in 2005. That was the last time I collected any sort of income and I became a full-time trader after that. And uh, last thing I want to do is replace having a boss with having another boss, right? Having another full-time job. Um, I've been doing trading since 1997. And like they said, I've been publishing daily insights for my trading trainer participants every night, five days a week since 2002. I have an ebook that you might see on people's computers uh, that's been out for years, The Seven Strategies of Successful Option Traders. 
I have a home study course that I'll find whenever I visit people's homes who who uh, invite me in for doing some one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, I'll find this course on their bookshelf that I've had out for quite a few years. I almost feel like that's the uh, uh, course that people have measured themselves by. And just to let you know, I'm definitely a learner just like you. I started off years ago with a degree in mechanical engineering with a focus on automatic controls. That's where you marry electrical. Think of cruise control for your car or some of these new systems like the Tesla, Tesla autopilot or even fly-by-wire systems of the of aircrafts. That's what I uh, have my training in. I've also got strong background in commercial business and investing. And my latest and this is what I'm most proud of is being a practitioner of accelerated learning methods. This is methods where I can instill knowledge onto you as quickly as possible, kind of deviating from the traditional uh, what you, you know, taking 18 years in school in order to get anywhere with knowledge. We like to use methods that can kind of hack the way we learn. So I'm kind of stoked about that. Just to make sure you also realize some of the reality of this. When I started in 1997, I spent $27,000 on seminars that first year. And back then, it wasn't webinars like we have today. It was you showed up at a hotel. How many with the show of hands remember showing up at a hotel and watching somebody talk about trading for like a Saturday morning, and then they would go ahead and try to sell you on coming back the Sunday? And well, I was doing that every weekend. And this was when I was working at Hewlett Packard. So I was living in Silicon Valley, and I you know, was in my late 20s, early 30s, and I was able to, you know, I had enough disposable income and not much cost that I was just spending every weekend at these things. And I spent $27,000 in 1997. I'm actually spending even more now going to these seminars because I like to keep track of what people are teaching and what, you know, what's out there. And if I've missed any tidbit, Back in 1997, not only did I spend that much on the education itself, but you, some of you might identify with this. I also spent $85,000 giving back to the markets, making stupid investments, trying to follow those programs. And uh, I, that was so frustrating because I wound up spending more that first year of investing on investing than I did even on my you know, six years of higher education getting a you know engineering degree so i was kind of down but let me give you a hint write this down what i wound up doing is looking around the room i was in so you could actually do that by keeping track of so i looked around the room i was in and i noticed that there were some schleps like me showing up every weekend right at these uh, investing ev uh, events and i cornered them i cornered them at the water cooler and I said, are you doing this program? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing. Are you having, well, maybe not having so much success. Hey, do you want to do it together? So please write down on your piece of paper, trading groups, right? Investment groups. Here's what happens when you're in an investment group. And I, I know I'm on a side uh, tangent here, but you're going to get a lot of value out of this if you, if you follow my instructions. When you're in an investment group, not only do people look over your shoulder and tell you whether you're out to lunch or not on some of the investments you're about to do, which is, you know, worth its weight in gold. But also they keep you accountable because with this investing thing, you know, if you don't keep doing it, if you don't keep showing up and doing it, you're never going to have success. It's so easy to just, you know, give up. But if you build a habit and sometimes it helps to have somebody or a bunch of people who are holding you responsible because a lot of times we don't hold ourselves enough responsible. How many with the show of hands would agree with that? So right on with that. The other thing that they do is, and I knew this because I still, to this day, I have made a fortune in investing. I still make a fortune in investing and I still have people from my past who come on and say, boy, that's risky. And those little seeds that they plant could really destroy you, especially if you've had a couple of losses. All these little seeds that they planted, it's too risky and you start to doubt yourself. When you have an investment group, you show up once, a, you know, we, we used to show up on a telephone call once an evening. And these people would totally keep you pumped up because they're in the same place, right? So it's good to have a group. So please write that down, investment group. That's how I actually made my success, right? The other thing that I want you to know about me, and then we'll get on with the content, is I started this foundation, right? I started this foundation at the same time I started Trading Trainer. 
And I took, I started off with taking 14 inner city kids out of Denver and teaching them exactly what I'm going to be talking about this evening. Now they had a little bit of a handicap. They didn't have computers. So we had to go to the public library and they had to, and the public library in the part of town of Denver that they were in would only let us get on the computer for a half an hour a day. Now, I can bring the water to the camel, but I can't make the camel drink. Five of those folks, even though I was spoon feeding the information to them, just wouldn't take it and wound up dropping out of the program. I'm going to be completely honest. But nine of them, I got so excited with their progress, I each gave, I gave each of them $2,000. This was back in 2002. I read it, wrote it off. I was like, I'm not going to see this 18 grand again, but this is a good place for me to put some, put my money. Will you just believe that every single one of them paid me back my money? Not only did they pay me back my money, but all of them were able to take their profits, buy themselves computers, buy themselves DSL connections back in the day. And one of them actually put themselves through DU. So we took this foundation and kept doing it every year, growing it and growing it. Last year, we've actually moved it and we've partnered with the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. We're based now in Chicago. We took a bunch of South City Chicago kids off the street, off of the gang banging. We've brought over 700 kids through my program in the last years. So this is what I'm most proud of. And what's cool about this is everybody at Trading Trainer, the company that I started, we all participate in this program. In fact, none of us take a profit from any of the education we sell to folks like you. We instead give it all to this foundation to get the inner city kids off the street. So what's important to know about that is if we don't take a profit from the education, where do we get our money to support our families and stuff from? We are real live traders. I mean, if you ever think about it and you look at like, for instance, if somebody's charging you $2,000 uh, for, for an education program and you count how many people you see in the back of the room signing up for that program, you might realize that that person probably doesn't have to trade anymore, doesn't have to invest. So keep that in mind because this education business is a big deal and everybody at Trading Trainer, we donate our times to the education because we actually want to see these kids make some success. And so every time you talk to somebody, a trading trainer like myself or Coach Jay or Coach Leo or any of those folks, you're talking to somebody who's trading in order to keep his family afloat. So very cool. Okay, let's talk about what we came here to talk about, instant income counter investments. These ones are less subject to wild swings or devastating losses, right? In fact, back in December, when the market took kind of a, a downturn for a bit, we all profit huge. Then we've also got immune to down, okay, that's what I just talked about, being immune to downturns in the stock market. We actually can structure, and a lot of the folks who are doing this program right now are structuring it so that the trades are what I call upside down. It's where they profit when the market turns down. All the trades we do have built-in profit buffers, and like we said, profit buffers can be structured up, upside down. And the scoop here is, I want you, and write this number big on your paper right now, I want you to focus on earning 6% on your portfolio every month. If you do better than that, great. But here's the significance of 6%. I'm gonna do a little, you've probably seen this before, but I want you to just humor me for a second here. If I gave you $50,000 today or a penny that doubles every day for a month, which would you take? Let's see how it works out with the penny. So one cent, two cent, four cent, eight cent, 16 cents, 32 cents, 64 cents. So we're one week into it, right? And we've only got 64 cents. Right now the $50,000 looks really good. Let's go to two weeks. At two weeks, you've only got $81.92. You're halfway through the month and you still don't have anywhere near 50 grand, right? That could be really bummer because if you're a trader and you've gone halfway through a program and you still have nothing compared to the amount you've invested in it, you could get really, really negative. But let's keep going. All right, we're three weeks in, still nowhere near the $50,000. We're almost three-fourths of the way through the month, $10,485.76 if you took the penny. But check this out. 
all the way at the end of the month, day 24, we finally surpassed the $50,000. And now look what happens. That last week of the month, by the end of the month, we've got $21 million, $474,836.48. This is what compound interest is all about. And this is why you would have wanted to take the penny, even though for the first three quarters of the month, you might have been a little bit under the weather thinking, oh my God, this isn't going to work. And I'm not sure if Albert Einstein actually said compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. It's attributed to him. And if it is, that's great. They just want to, maybe they, they want to contribute everything that was ever geniusly said to a genius like Albert Einstein. But it is. The more important thing is compound interest, right? And so now what the heck does this 6% have to do with anything? Well, if you earn 6% on your money every month and you create that compounding of simple interest over a year, your investment will more than double every year. So let's do a quick quiz. What minimum returns must you make monthly on your portfolio to more than double your money annually? A, half a percent, B, one and a half percent, C, five percent, D, six percent, E, 10 percent. What's the answer? Six percent. D, if you get six percent on your portfolio every month. So uh, there's a lot of people out there saying, hey, you're going to double your money every month. You're, those are out of the park, like I've hit the ball out of the park. And you will have those periodically with any kind of investing that you do. But if we focus more on, can I earn six percent per month? Then you will double your money annually. So for instance, if you have $1,000, that means $2,012 in 12 months, $4,048 in two years. Five years, if you started with $1,000, you have $32,987. And in 10 years, you'd be a millionaire. More importantly, if you had a $100,000 portfolio, and you use this investment focusing just on 6% per month. And just as a side note, the people who are doing this program with me, the people who are actually investing this way, we've been doing better than 6%. We've been doing double digits on our portfolio every month. Most of us have been doubling our money in four to five months in these past months. The VIX is high. That means our investments are returning even higher. But if you had a $100,000 portfolio and you're earning just 6% per month on your portfolio, that means you would be generating $101,219.65 per year. Now, the median salary in the US is about $85,000. Now, if you live in New York City, San Francisco, Washington, DC, Boston, one of those big cities, of course, it's higher. But in the whole US, it's $85,000. And that's somebody who's on salary working about 60 hours a week. Wait till you see how much time I put into this in order to create a salary that's even more than that. Let's keep going. So what are we actually investing in? We are selling option premium. What the heck is this option premium? Let me pull out my marker here. So option premium is equal to two components. You've got this one component of an option price that is in the money. You've got another component of this option price that is called the premium value, right? So if you look up any option price on the CBOE or on the NASDAQ or whatever exchange you're looking at, please know that contained in that price is something called the in the money value or and the premium value. For you academics out there, people call this the intrinsic value. People call this the extrinsic value. I know I've got a couple of you on the line. I'm actually kind of a nerd myself, by the way. I've written a lot of white papers on this. You could always go visit the tradingtrainer.com website. I've got all those white papers for free because I love to talk nerdy, but let's keep it going. So some people actually may not even be uh, tuned into what options are. So options are financial instruments and they're called derivatives. That's because they're both related to an underlying symbol like an ETF index or stock, 
but they're also traded on their own exchange. Options are typically bought and sold to hedge risk against stocks, indexes, and exchange traded funds, but that's not how we use them. We use them for that premium component of their price. So how do we sell premium in order to make a big profit? So there's four simple transactions. I want you to write these down on your notepad. You ready? Writing covered calls. Writing covered puts. That's flipping the covered calls upside down. We also, please take note of this, write covered calls against leaps. And we also write covered puts against leap. That supercharges the covered call writing process. And again, for you academics out there, you might also know this as bull call diagonal debit spreads and bear put diagonal debit spreads. Okay, these four transactions. Also, I want you, once you've got these four transactions written down, I want you to put next to this the letter M, just this writing covered puts. Writing covered puts does require a margin account. The other ones are all cash transactions, which means, and this is one of the things I do a lot, I invest in retirement accounts. So I take my IRAs, I take my 401ks, I take my SEPs, I take my Roth IRAs, which are fantastic because those are tax-free instead of tax-deferred. And I do these transactions. But with those type of accounts, unless you do some finagling with entities, you're not going to be able to do a margin trade. But what's nice is, and we'll be getting into this in a couple of minutes, we can convert a margin trade into a cash trade and have the same setup but have it be a cash trade. So you could do all of these in your retirement account. Let's keep going. Uh, let me get rid of my chicken scratch. I've written all over the screen and now I've got all this chicken scratch. Let's keep going. So I wanna, for those of you that are not understanding the concept, let's do it on Amazon. Now, I would never, first of all, Amazon doesn't have the characteristics of a company I would sell premium against, but Amazon's, one that everybody knows. And so I can do this example to wrap your head around it, but just know that this is not one that I would actually invest in, okay? But I want you to look at this so that you understand what we're doing here. Please pay attention. So not this Friday, but last Friday, Amazon closed at 1607.95. So if we bought some Amazon and then immediately sold the premium, which was the at the money, notice I went slightly out of the money, March 15th, 1610 call, I get a credit. I get a coupon basically, because this is going to have an expiring value to it. I get a credit of 46.20. I basically have reduced the price of my Amazon by that amount. I get an instant dividend. That's another name I like to call it. Each, each option is sold in lots of 100 called a contract. So for every contract that I sell, I get $4,620 of credit, instant dividend. So what happens on March 15th? If we're above 1610, we actually get a profit of just $2.05 a share. Blah. But we also get to keep that money that we got from selling the credit up in advance. That gives us a $48.25 total profit. And on the cost basis, that gives us 3.1% ROI. Now, here's the scoop. This is called, and please put this in your notes, what we just outlined here. And again, I already said that Amazon wouldn't be my target company. I find better results than this. But this is called a buy right. That means we do these transactions at the same exact time. That's the worst case scenario. What we usually do, and you'll see in a moment, we usually plan out our trades such that we can beat these by 4x or 5x. So if you can imagine 12% to 15% return on this, this is what typically we would receive. But let's keep going with this example because I want you to wrap your head around what we're actually doing here. What happens if Amazon is flat by March 15th? It doesn't go up. Well, we bought Amazon. We sold the premium. We get to keep that profit. We made 3% so far. Again, this is the worst case scenario. And then we're going to do it again. It's kind of like when you own a property and you rent it out and you collect the rents every month, except we are doing it with a stock ETF or index. That means we don't have to worry about tenants, trash, and toilets screwing up our, because you can't screw up a piece of paper, right? 
So we'll do it again and do it again and collect the returns. In fact, I've got something special to show you just in a moment about what that happens when you do it again, do it again. What if Amazon drops by March 15th? Now, first of all, I built in a profit buffer, right? Of 4620. My break even price is 156175. That means Amazon can go all the way down to 156175 and it's not going to bother me one bit. Now, what if it goes below that? We'll be talking about using a collared put as protection in maybe about five minutes from now. So we can even protect it further, insure it further. But these trades have built-in profit buffers already. So here are some returns. We did 17% on Micron and 12 trading trades. This is when the stock traded up. We did 15% on Activision in 34 trading days. This is when the stock traded water. 14% on all scripts in 86 trading days. This is when the stock took a dump. So let's take a moment, make sure you're following along. Answer all that apply. What does investing by selling premium create? Does it create an instant dividend, a discount on a security, a profit buffer, an expiring coupon? What does it create? If you answered all of them, you're spot on. It's all of them. It creates an instant dividend. It's a discount on whatever security that's an index ETF stock. Gives you a profit buffer. It also acts as an expiring coupon. I'm not going to go through all these returns. You can kind of see what we do. It doesn't matter whether the stock trades up, stock treads water, or stock dumps. We make 21%, 12%, 17%. So you get kind of the concept. That was a buy right covered call, our worst case scenario. We actually never do that. We actually supercharge that one way or another. But let's talk about the next piece of the puzzle, which is what do you think? How can we lower our investment, increase our returns, and even convert a margin trade into a cash trade? What do you think the answer is? Do we sell out in time options? Should we replace that security, the index, the ETF, the stock, with an option trading at parity? Should we give up and buy mutual funds or we just can't do it? It's impossible. What do you think? Here's what we do. We replace that index, that stock, that ETF, with an option trading at parity. Now, I don't want you to get that confused. Some people have heard of the term synthetic equivalencies. We're not talking about taking, for instance, a long stock and substituting a long call and shorting a put. We're not talking about taking a, a vertical debit spread and having a vertical credit spread. Those are all synthetic equivalencies, an iron condor for a put condor or a call condor. Those are all synthetic equivalencies. What we're talking about is replacing a security with an option trading at parity. That means the stock and the option that we replace it with all go dollar for dollar. If there's a $100 stock and it goes up $1, then the option goes up $1, and the option may be $40, $50. Let's see how to do that. Option premium is most when the option is at the money. That's why when we sell the premium, we're selling at the money near-term options. Write that down, at the money near-term options when we are selling premium. But when we're looking for an option trading at parity, we go deep enough in the money that the option has very little premium. In fact, we target having less than 5% premium. And that means it's all completely intrinsic, otherwise known as in the money value, right? So that means that the stock and the option move dollar for dollar, right? In other words, a deep in the money option behaves exactly like the underlying security, dollar for dollar. So we can supercharge our investments by substituting that underlying stock with a deep in the money back month option. Give us bigger returns because now we've got a smaller cost basis. So now how far in, out in time should we get that substitute, right? That substitute option, how far out in time should it expire? 
Well, let me give you some statistics right now. In our program, and this is to show you, somebody just wrote down, it's too complicated. By the way, how many of you with a show of hands can still hear me? Okay, just making sure. Somebody also wrote in that they lost audio. Somebody wrote it's too complicated. It's really not because here's the truth of the matter is, at any one time, our folks have anywhere from three to seven positions and that is all that maxes out their whole portfolio. So if you look at any one of our program participants who's really working our program well, at any one time you look, how many, how many investments do you have to max out your whole portfolio? Whether your portfolio is a couple thousand dollars or we have people who have seven figure portfolios, right? Three to seven positions. And those positions are lasting, this is very important, write this down, on average four to five months. It's like you're putting your money into a mutual fund for four to five months, right? That means that we're not doing all kinds of crazy amounts of trading or anything like that. Now, some of the positions do get exercised or bailed out within one to two months. Other ones go as much as seven or six, seven or eight months, but on average, it's four to five months. That means that we're only cycling out positions, one to two new investments per quarter that means every three months and that doesn't matter whether you're trading weekly or monthly options right so keep that in mind now if we're going out four to five months on average maybe as much as seven or eight we don't want to if we're going to go ahead and substitute the back month option kind of supercharge this thing we don't want to have that back month option expire before we're done collecting all the premiums, we can on it, right? We want this thing to be exercised or bailed out, not have the back month expire that shuts off our income flow. So we buy our back month option far out in time so that the substitute option expiration will not interfere with selling many cycles of premium. In other words, we typically use option leaps. So right now, a lot of us are using the 2020 leaps for this. So we find a substitute that trades a parity. Let's go back to that Amazon. So instead of spending $1,607.95 on Amazon, we can find a substitute, this particular substitute, the January 2020, 930 calls, very deep in the money, it trades at parity. In fact, this substitute has 95.1% in the money value, 4.9% premium, and only costs $713.05. So now if you do all the math, we still get our instant dividend of 46.20 per contract, but that's on a much cheaper underlying symbol. So what happens if it closes at 16.10? Notice when we exercise our options that instead of getting the 16.10, we're only getting 6.80 right now. And that's because when we get exercised at 16.10, we have to exercise the back month at 9.30. You get the, the difference, right? You get the spread, but still, so let's do the economics here. So if we bought this thing for 713.05, we wind up getting exercised at 680. We get a 33.05 loss. We still got the 46.20 Amazon. That means we made 13.15 in profit. We got 2% ROI, but now we invested much less. What happens if we are flat? This is where it gets really exciting. Please pay attention. We're going to do it again. First of all, we pulled out this time 6.9% ROI, and we're going to do it again and again and again, four to five months. And what happens if it drops? Well, we've got that built-in profit buffer, 46.20 per option sold. We can go all the way down to 6.6685 and be fine. Here's some of the trades we did with back month options, 43%, 9%, 2%. All greater, well, this one, 2%, but all we're targeting that 6% number. If we beat 6%, well, then we're good to go. So, okay, I've talked to you about selling premium. I've talked to you about supercharging that premium by using back month options rather than the underlying security. So let's talk about 
insuring our trades, right? So how can we drastically reduce our return on risk? Should we sell half as much option premium? Should we sell out in time options? By the way, I'm gonna show you a real life invest, investment that I'm in right now. I've been in it for about three months and you'll see how this is working. Sell out in time options. How about if we color the investment by marrying a protective option or we just can't do it, it's impossible. What do you think, A, B, C, or D? Let's collar the investment by marrying a protective option. I'm going to fast forward by these results, 8, 24, 13%, just because I want to, I'm looking at the time clock and I want to have this graph pegged in your mind for a second. Now I'm going to tell you about this graph a little bit more in a second, but let's look at my real life example. Now, you could use a spreadsheet. We give all of our program participants this spreadsheet where all you do is you copy in the various uh, numbers that you would find in any sort of trading software. This is how much your portfolio is, how much your max allowable risk is. It recommends a number, but you could put whatever you want in there. Here's your channel support and resistance. Here's your ticker symbol. You can make this yourself or you could, you know, we give this out as part of our program. You can pick your back month options, pick your written calls, written puts, all that good stuff. And look at what it does. It comes up with the exact plan you need to follow. Remember we talked about getting better than a buy right. So step one, step two, optional step. Go long 2,700 shares of Ericsson, write 27 contracts of Ericsson, and optionally protect that with uh, 27 contracts of puts. Or if you want to do the covered put, do 500 shares of uh, Ericsson, write the five contracts, go long the five contracts of protective calls. Here's that bull call diagonal debit spread, bear put diagonal debit spread. So we did this Ericsson trade, and I always recommend when you do a trade, when you do an investment, that you log it. So even if you just use a simple spreadsheet, again, this is the tool we give our program participants, but you could make it all yourself. Check out Ericsson here. So we bought this thing back on November 23rd. By the way, I have my thinkorswim running. So let me show you the chart on Ericsson. Notice it's got clear, let me make it nice and big so you don't have to squint. We got clear bottoms, clear tops. So on November 23rd, that's around here where we had a bottom. We followed our plan, right? Our plan said, <clears throat> go long 2,700 shares of Ericsson after a bottom has been found, look for a price lower than 829. And you can see we didn't get lower. We got 830, but that was close enough, right? With our commissions, it came to 831. December 14th, we followed our plan that said at a high, that's over here. After a top has been found, we went ahead and sold our premium and bought our insurance. Of course, the premium expired worthless, so we got to keep that money. And then on top of that, we sold our insurance and look at how we sold our insurance. We bought it for six cents and then we went ahead and sold it for 25 cents. So not only did it insure us for anything below $8, but it became a profit source in our investment. Notice over a month period, we did three trades and then we just did it again. We did it in January. Notice as well, after we did it in January, Where's my cost basis, even after commissions? $7.95 per share. What am I insuring it to? $8. So if you're insuring something for more money than what you've got into it, what is that called? So within one month, this trade went risk-free on us. We had no money in. We're insuring it down to $8 and it only cost us $7.95 and it got better after that. We just got through selling the next level of premium. We're looking to sell our put. If we sell our put for 10 cents, we're looking at right now, the premium, if we cash it in, would be 30 cents, but we're looking and it's probably going to expire worthless. 
our insurance we're looking to get a profit on as we have in the past the last time we did insurance it was 20 cents we sold it for 25 cents but if we were to cash out right this minute we'd be looking at just after three months we'd be looking at a return on invested capital of about 21 percent this is a real live trade going on right this minute i hope you see the power behind this so with that said let's get back to the presentation i gotta watch this time this is a trade that i did in october and you'll notice again after the first month this is what happens if it goes below your insurance after the first month you'll notice this is break even we no longer have at all the opportunity to lose money on the third month you'll notice that our return now what you might be saying why isn't this linear why is it that our profits keep going up every month how is that possible if you think about how you calculate returns it's equal to profit over investment right how many with the show of hands are with me on that return equals profit over investment if you keep collecting a profit every month and it reduces your investment every month what happens to your returns this makes it more important this is why we try to structure our trades so that they last as long as possible this particular trade for me that ended in october it went seven months and i more than doubled my money and in that case within like four or five months you don't even care whether or not you get bailed out to the to the backside or you get exercised to the max profit because either case you get massive returns so it behooves us to stay in these trades as long as possible and make it as little effort this is why i'm called the disciplined options trader i do as little effort as possible i don't stay in front of my computer every day i don't look for a particular event i just let time do its bidding right i structure these trades so that they last as long as possible and they make profits exponentially who could ask for anything more now by the way if you want to sit in front of the computer and watch markets all day sure do that but don't make your you know whether or not you're making a profit or not depend on that do that for fun take a portion of your portfolio and do that for fun so that when you don't want to sit in front of the computer you don't have to right don't make it your job have a bunch of trades like this one where you're just collecting incomes every month be what you live on and then do that stuff for fun right because i'll tell you if you're doing that stuff for income it's soon going to be laborious that's my experience at least let's keep going but this is a very powerful chart okay what do we have when our cost basis break even price is less than our protective bailout price? Do we have a risk free investment, a losing trade, too much complexity, or a pipe dream? We have what's called a risk free investment. So let's review. We're going to buy or short an underlying security, or we're going to buy a substitute option trading at premium. Then we're going to sell a near term at the money options for its premium value. We're going to get an instant dividend or a profit buffer. And a profit buffer. And then we're going to collar that thing with a married option that is at least one month out. I actually like going three to six months out. It depends on the economics of your portfolio. To protect our investment. All right. You've got those steps down. I'm going to give you a second to write those down because this is powerful. Here's the five major points. First of all, if you're somebody who's just buying options and you're doing that on leverage money, that's kind of what I call a level one investment. They're investor. They're not really taking advantage of what options do best, which is their premium. So that's, you know, that's a sucker's bet. It, it means that you know, if the underlying does what you want it to do, great. Otherwise, you're leveraged and you're going to be losing as much as the option does. If the if the stock goes down a dollar, so is the option. But the stock will be losing 1%. You're going to lose 10%, right? But 
If we use options for what they were designed for, the premium component, you can generate serious income selling those options. And you can ensure those positions to create up to 20 times return on risk on month one and become risk-free as early as month two, usually around month two or three. We are hunting for these trades with a sniper rifle. We're not trying to do a probabilities type thing where you have a shotgun approach where 30% of your portfolio is going to be losers. And like I said, I wouldn't trade that Amazon. It's it, it's not the easiest. I, I wrote impossible. It's not impossible, but it's pretty hard. It takes a lot of time to screen these opportunities by hand. And that's why I created, and I'm going to show you inside our member portal here let me this is what our i'll give you a, a sneak peek at what our program participants have access to when they log into our member portal i think you can see this here let me just make sure yep when they log and let me get rid of my chicken scratch i just get so excited i apologize for having my voice raised on you but when they log into the they get this premium selling tool we actually have a beta tool as well but You'll see how many candidates we have a screener that goes through all the available ETFs, stocks, and indexes, and it compares them to over nine. So it's about 11,000 underlying securities, 900,000 option chains associated with those, and tries to find the best candidates. And this runs every evening. Now, here's a hint. Please write this down. Because we're talking about the premium component of options, if you have a screener that finds these things, Candidates that were identified days earlier are still just as valid as the candidates that were identified most recently. Again, this is not a directional, this is not a volatility play. These are plays on what's called theta decay. It's the premium. It's allowing time to do its magic. So we have a screener that does all the work for us instead of having to spend hours searching for it. So here's where I'd like to ask, how many of you would like to never miss a pick Minimize the amount of time you spend away from your loved ones or whatever project or hobby you think is awesome. Or even if you still have a full-time J-O-B, which I always, that acronym for me always meant just over broke, right? They just pay you enough to keep you above head. And how would you like to have support whenever you need it? Because that's what it's all about. It's about saving time, creating clarity, and getting results. So would it be okay? If I take a moment right now and tell you a little bit about what we've got in our program, our training, our tools, to see if it's a match for you, would that be okay? If so, raise your hand. Thank you. This is for someone who doesn't want to pay for the, all the multiple data subscriptions that we pull in in order to get this for us, make those screeners work. Wants everything in one place, doesn't want to miss an opportunity, wants to spend more time doing other things, doesn't want to do this alone, wants step-by-step -step instructions. This is somebody who wants to get consistent, reliable results. Let me tell you about Charlene. She wrote in an a email to me. She wanted to take the opportunity. Charlene got sick. I know her personally because I called her after this, getting this email. She got sick. She got cancer, actually. And she was a teacher. And she got to a point where they, they made her leave. They, they ordered her out of the classroom and she still had 13 years left to get retirement as a school teacher. And she really had subscribed herself to passing away. She was like, I'm, I, I'm gonna die and I'm cool about that. And it sucks when the worst, that, when, when the best thing that can happen, which is you survive cancer, creates the worst case scenario, which is what am I gonna do for money? Right? I got medical bills. I have no livable retirement. I'm not going to be able to collect unemployment or, I'm sorry, Social Security for 10 years. So she got interested in the stock market. She found me. And now she's paid off her medical bills. She's traveling. She's doing this remotely. All she does is read a daily table, find a stock she's interested in, follows the strategy. I use this along with other strategies to diversify my financial plan. She made 14% by just spending about 15 minutes reading about the company, following the chart, and then waiting for the expiration of the option. So whether you're a inner city school kid 
who only has 30 minutes of computer activity per day at a library, or you're, whether you're somebody who's been sick and ordered out of work, or whether you're a full-time employee that just wants to start building that nest egg, that pipeline of investments, so that when you do retire, you're set, right? So here's what the program is. First of all, you have access to that web portal that uh, I showed you, and we've got everything from all the learning vi videos to all the replays of all the webinars. We've got a forum that people talk about things in, and we've got our tools, right? It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Somebody who wrote it's complicated, it's not complicated. We have a once a month live training webinar. This is where I take a deep dive of the process and I go into depth. And people, we then we then categorize these things and we put them into the uh, um, uh, replays so that people can go watch them again. We take a deep dive so that people not only understand how to, but why things work, right? But even more exciting, we have a once a week webinar. And this is where the beginners begin, right? We have a once a week webinar where people come and they throw their tickers at us, right? These are tickers that they got off the screen or that they did their vetting. They did a little bit of research on the company. And they say, we'd like to see you do. So the first thing I do is me and my, my cohort there, Coach Jay, we go through them and we, we, we discuss why we like this one versus the other one. What's the lowest hanging fruit? And right there, that's a learning opportunity. People observe that in the workshops. They observe how we screen just very quickly the ones that they've already vetted. Then we pick one and we go through it in depth and we create, we basically take that spreadsheet I showed you, this one that we've basically fill in the blanks and we answer questions along the way because it is a workshop and we then have these plans that are created for us. And we tell them how those plans are created so that there's no magic behind the spreadsheet. And then people take those plans and we call it learn while you earn. They take those plans and they personalize them and they go out and they trade them, whether it's in their paper log if they're still learning or in their real money log if they're ready to go. So not only do people get to see how we vet them, see how we create the plan so that they can do that in the future, but they also once a week get one of these investments that they can then, like I said, personalize. We just did one on McDonald's recently. Also this past Thursday, all the replays, by the way, again, are put right into the portfolio. So if you miss the workshop, you can still watch it. Repetition is the key. Watching three or four of these workshops and people are good to go. Also, we get your answers, questions to your answers by private message. In fact, here's my commitment. When you're ready to do one of these trades, set up your plan the way that we show in the workshop, forward me the plan. I'll most likely get on the phone with you. We'll definitely go by text. We'll definitely email. And I'll make sure before you put a penny of your real money into it that it's all set up for the, for the highest uh, success, highest reward, lowest risk. All right? I commit that to you. And I'll tell you why. Oh, pause on that. As a bonus for being part of today's event, I'm going to set one of my coaches, you know, those people that donate all of their income from us to the foundation. They're going to get on the phone with you, ask you where you're at, ask you where you want to be. They've all been through it. They're doing it right now. They'll help you plot a path to wherever you want to be. They'll tell you if you're out to lunch, if you're too aggressive. They'll tell you if you're too uh, manzy pansy. Okay, back to why. I want to make sure you're successful. It's because I've got to double your money back guarantee. I want you to try working with me for six months. And if you haven't made money at the end of the six months, not only will I refund your six month fee, but I'll give you double how much you paid. That's how much I want you to be successful. So I want you to tap me on the shoulder and say, I'm ready to trade this. Will you look over my shoulder? Remember I talked about trading groups? Let me be part of your first group. So I want you to go right now. I want you to go to optioninvesting.org forward slash trade thirsty. Let's actually go ahead and do that really quick on a, so if I go to optioninvesting.org forward slash trade thirsty, it'll bring you to 
a page, a web page. You might have a video of me start playing. I'm going to pause it because I already know what I sound like. And it'll tell you exactly in bullets what comes with the program. It'll talk about the guarantee. And here's the price. $4.97 for six months. Double your money back guarantee. If you don't make money in six months, I'll give you your $4.97 back times two. Go right now. Optioninvesting.org forward slash trade thirsty. Let me see if that's in the, I'm going to go ahead and put that right into the chat for you. Option investing.org forward slash trade thirsty. That way you can just click on it. It's in the chat section of your meeting, um, your go to meeting control panel. Don't pass go. Don't, do not collect $200. I love that Monopoly guy. You deserve it. So go right now. Like I said, let me see if there's questions. I have about three minutes that I can ask answer some questions. If a stock crashes more than a premium when you sell it, do you have protect management? Al, yes. And I think you asked that before I showed about how to collar your protection. How much do you have to pay to use the screener after six months? After six months, you're welcome to join the program again for another $4.97. We also have, <clears throat> so there, we've had people uh, in this program for over 10 years. This is my, this is actually, I have quite a few programs at Trading Trainer, but this is the program that I love the most because it's so straightforward and easy. And we have an offer for you. Yes, we have a payment plan. Uh, we have an offer for you in order to um, get your uh, get it at a discount for like we call it the lifetime plan. You pay forty seven dollars a year um, and and you get it for life. So there's also an offer there, or you could just pay the four ninety seven every six months. It's whatever you choose. Um, how do you avoid Vega Crush on a back month leap? So very interesting question. Thank you for asking that, B. The scoop is, is if you look at, so Vega is very high on back month options, but if you look at the implied volatility of an event, because the Vega crush is a multiplication of V times how much change in implied volatility. And I'm getting kind of nerdy talking to B here. Um, so if this is over your head, the answer, the short answer is, is we don't worry about it so much. And that's because IV, if you look at how much IV actually changes on back month options, we're usually out of that back month options, four to five, six, seven months, and that's not going to, um, um, the IV change doesn't affect the back month options as it does like a near term or a one month out option. 